Hello GoPro, we have a few minutes to totality and I'm going to put this on my bike helmet just to record the thing so I don't have to hold the camera around. Before we get to that, let's back up and tell you what's going on. This was at the total solar eclipse of August 21st, 2017. I was viewing it from Madras, Oregon, near the center line of totality. I chose Madras because the climate data said it was the least likely place along the path to have cloud cover. By the time we could get actual weather forecasts, everywhere to stay would be booked for weeks or months. At the time of this clip, the shadow of the moon was almost upon us. Here's what it was like to be there. This is all the crowd here. Yeah. The crowd is getting happy. <laughs> well, look, it's, uh, you can't see Mount Jefferson anymore. I don't know if it's in totality, but it's, no, it's, I can't it's, see it. It's, I can still barely see it right yeah. there. And Hood is still visible. It's never going to be in totality, this eclipse. It's getting dim. I can't still see. Sliver. I can see the silhouette of Mount Jefferson. That's really all, all right. I can see. Now, so I the other GoPro will get that view. I can't see any detail on it. It is barely still there. It's time. 10:19. Somebody yelled 30 seconds. I have no idea if they know what they're talking about. It can't be much more. Oh, look at the silhouette of uh, Mount Jefferson there. Oh wow! It's a nighttime silhouette. Wow! Totality! Wow! Here I'm trying to get some quick souvenir photos just to say I took something. But cameras really can't capture the eclipse well enough. We could actually see the streamers of the sun's corona around the disk of the moon. It changes from bright to dim in so short a space that digital high dynamic range photography is only just beginning to be able to capture it if you're ready with expensive gear before the eclipse. The best advice is to snap some pictures and then enjoy the experience. Oh my gosh! phone can't do it. I'm doing the SLR and then I'm just going to give up on the cameras. My, I got some with mine. <laughs> oh, the, I've got some good ones with the SLR. Wow, and there's a plane flying up there too. And here's one of the pictures I got with my SLR of the eclipsed sun and the planet Mercury. It's almost over. <laughs> Anything right now. It's back. Yeah, I see it. It's back. Wow. Wow. That was incredible. Worth the trip? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you saw the Weather Channel's live coverage of the eclipse, hey, this is just across the highway from where Stephanie Abrams could not maintain her composure after seeing it. What do you guys think? That was cool. That was <laughs> Yeah. Put on my solar glasses, and it looks like it's still only it's still 90% eclipsed or something. And the, now the highway is just going nuts as everyone's trying to escape. Look at this. Yes. Yeah, so fast. Two minutes. So yeah, I'm going to go retrieve my other GoPro, and I'm pretty sure it got... The, that was a whole interesting silhouette situation with Mount Jefferson. Oh, I, I looked back at it, yeah. and, and, yeah. and it, it was watching Hood and Jefferson at the same time. Oh, wow. So Hood never was in totality. Oh, right. So right. I was hoping that might be an interesting view. It's a little dusty, smoky, yeah. and especially the smoke over there, but I still think 
you might have gotten something worth looking at. Oh, Plus, Jason over there, there was also recording from the airport. Oh, at least nice. Jefferson would, have, would be something. Oh yeah. Like oh yeah. Wow. And the, and the, the highway was, became mostly empty during the eclipse. I'm surprised right. by that. I yeah, thought that stopped. stupid people would be jammed everywhere. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. I guess they're smarter than they gave them credit for. Look what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, they can. <laughs> Wow, they're heading out really quick. This is our neighbors. See ya. Hi. So I just gave him my uh, card so that uh, we'd be able to make contact that again. Was, uh, that was that was great. I've seen annularity before, but this is my first totality. Just, just as soon as it's water, it just changes. And it's yeah. coming back now. My hands are still cold. Yeah. <laughs> my, my body's still cold right now. My whole body's cold. And now over to my other camera. Mount Jefferson was in the shadow and Mount Hood remained at 99% in sunlight. Hello, GoPro. Eclipse totality in Madras, Oregon coming in about 15 minutes and we're gonna see if the, this backwards shot away from the sun can get Mount Jefferson in shadow and Mount Hood in the sunlight. Good luck. Yeah, good luck indeed. This was just an attempt, but it worked. Mount Jefferson will be on your left, it will disappear in shadow 35 miles in the distance. Mount Hood will be on your right, farther in the distance, about 55 miles. It will be 99% eclipsed, so remaining in daylight. And you'll see Mount Jefferson will be completely silhouetted while it's in the shadow. Quite the dramatic view. As the traffic thins, people are crossing the road to get their final viewing positions in the moments before totality. Now we're seeing the rapid darkening of the sky in the west. As the shadow of the moon approaches, Mount Jefferson disappears. As totality arrives at the Cascade Mountains, just 35 miles to the west, and just seconds before it arrives in Madras. Mount Jefferson disappears while it's in the dark and we're in the light. But once the dark comes to us, then we have twilight in all directions. Jefferson gets silhouetted and look at that amazing view. The thin high clouds and smoke from forest fires are just making an amazing contrast in the sky that would have otherwise had no features. And as quickly as it came, there it goes, back in the daylight. The story of what it was like to be there is really not complete without telling you about the traffic. Look how quickly, as people are trying to hit the road, thinking they're going to beat the traffic, it's just not possible. And the road immediately becomes jammed. And look at this, how quickly it develops. My strategy for how to deal with the traffic was just to wait out to camp the rest of the day on Monday and leave before dawn on Tuesday. So I was able to just watch all this happen. But it was not just on the road. All across the highway over at the airport, traffic was jamming there too, and I'll show you a bit of that. And now I'm coming back from camp to collect my camera. Hello GoPro, what kind of pictures did you get? It's extremely difficult to photograph what we saw of the eclipse with the streamers of the corona around the eclipsed sun. But this one photographer from Idaho, and many others undoubtedly, have managed to get some of it. And as photography gets better, we'll see better images in future eclipses. And the traffic jam on the highway quickly developed into a situation where people were shutting off their cars and just pushing them because they didn't want to use up gas and idle for an extended period of time. And much to our surprise, we saw the same thing across the highway at the airport. People shut off and pushed their airplanes as they were waiting in line for departure. I got this video, this is at 10 times speed. I was riding my bicycle down the line, getting video of all the stopped planes waiting for departure for the entire length of the airport, from one end of the main taxiway to the other. And 
that about sums it up. So if you liked it or you learned something, please tell your friends. Thanks.